last time on Let's Play Trauma Team, we got a mysterious message from Joseph Parker telling us to search above the fireplace. Above the fireplace? Behind the stones? This must be it. Alma's diary is in here? Here it is. I should take it back to the office and go through it. Now this will be interesting. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, can you spare What now, little guy? I do if it's about the case. Well, of course it is. Uh, Alma Parker's autopsy is about to begin. Hmm, good. I hope they find something. Yes, and regarding the results from the auto-imaging scan, a tumor has been found in Alma Parker's prefrontal lobe. What? A tumor? Yes, it's about five centimeters in diameter, and it seems to have been causing... Seizures. That's huge! Cerebral vascular disorder. If that's so, then... Yes, well, even if she hadn't been killed, she didn't have much time left. That's not the point. Tumors in the prefrontal lobe cause visual and auditory hallucinations. There's the chance that this may explain her strange behavior. Wait, so you think this is related so to... So she was case? insane? I found Alma's diary above the Parker's fireplace. What? Then Joseph was... He was telling the truth. Reading this may tell us more. I write this diary giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. My headaches continue today. That bruise seems to have gotten bigger, too. Should I see a doctor? A bruise? What is she referring to? I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. That's right, she was still alive when she got that bruise on her hand. I write this diary giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. A miracle happened today, I can barely believe it. I heard God's voice, beautiful and pure. Sounds like hallucinations to me. The bruise on my hand is a sigil passed on to me by God himself. I see. Well, I'm no theologian, but I doubt this was a revelation from God. What happened to her was caused by... I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. Is she gonna say that every time because right. I'm low on health? Her experience was likely caused by the tumor in her prefrontal lobe. She interpreted the whispers of her disease as the voice of the Creator. I write this diary giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. Today I heard a shocking premonition. We were walking the path against God's divine will. My pain was inflicted on me as a punishment and a warning to me and my family. This is terrible. I cannot let this be. I must save my family. Oh my goodness. I write this diary, giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. The preparations have been made. I will become the beast of the Lord and lead my loving family. I will sever them from this world and engrave the sigil upon their bodies too. Abby, my little girl, I willingly become the beast so I can save you. This is fucked up. Atlas, how do you come up with this stuff? Beast of the Lord. That explains the fur. I write this diary, giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. I learned a terrible truth today. My little Abby never reached his side. It's my fault. I severed her connection before engraving the sigil. Ah, oh, my loving daughter. Please forgive your mother for being so foolish. Joseph will be saved. I will engrave his sigil and lead his soul. I'll 
make sure it won't hurt. Joseph, let us be reunited in his world. The diary ends here. Alma died after writing this. The sigil that she says she engraved onto her daughter is... I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. No? I can't mess around anymore. It's time to get serious. Oh, right. That's right. Alma thought the black bruise on her hand appeared as a holy sign. That's why she thought she was saving her daughter's soul using the same pattern. She also planned to do the same to her husband. When she said she'd make sure it won't hurt, she meant, I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. Indeed. This diary answers a number of the questions we've had regarding this case. Wow. This is unbelievable. Where do they come up with this? Do they, like, hire psychopaths to write stories at Atlas or something? That's insane. Until this point, I had thought that Alma and Abigail had been killed by the same person. But now it's clear who killed Abigail. And yet, there are several things found at the crime scene that could not have been Alma's doing. I need to review the information we have to determine if these murders were committed by the same person. Hey, little guy. I have something else that I need you to analyze for me. You do? I thought we've already been through everything. Not quite. Hmm, it's more that I want you to sort through what we know. Alma wore the mask and the fur when she killed Abigail. However, Alma couldn't have done everything herself. For example, I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. So it wasn't a yes. suicide. Alma didn't stab herself. And there were obvious attempts to hide evidence after Alma's death. One such piece of evidence is, I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. Yes, someone tried to destroy the costume Alma wore in the fight. I'm actually a little bit nervous about botching this Another right at the end. Is, can't make any more rash decisions. I need to think cautiously. Indeed, the weapon Alma is believed to have used was hidden inside the clock. Only one person was able to do this. Yes. Now we can finally see everything that happened in this case. Oh, I think that's it. I just gotta piece everything together without making more than two mistakes. The dead shall speak. Let's put together the truth of what happened here. In a way, you could say Alma Parker is the first victim. She had a gigantic tumor within her prefrontal lobe. The conditions caused by the tumor changed her. This card has the evidence of that. Shit, that's a lot of cards. Yes, she believed her hallucinations were divine visions. Parting with the world. Her beloved daughter was first. It was that same love that led to Alma's attack. This card proves the violence Alma carried out on her Abigail. Can 
not no. make any more mistakes. Uh oh. Indeed. She put on a mask and fur, then killed her. That's why Abigail failed to recognize her own mother. Instead, she kept screaming in order to warn Alma away. Abigail's last words are proof of that. After the murder, Alma tried to guide <gasps> her child's soul. Oh, this is probably where the sigil is. The proof of that is on this card. This is likely what Mrs. Bowen witnessed. But Alma thought she had failed to save Abigail's soul. In order to guide the soul to its rightful place, Alma thought the sigil needed to be applied before death. So she made careful preparations for Joseph's murder. The evidence of that is shown on this card. Isn't that where she sabotaged the wine? Yes, but this plan failed to work. Joseph woke from the pain and struggled with her in a panic. This card tells us the evidence of that. Alma wore the mask and fur again to kill her husband. That's why Joseph didn't know it was Alma attacking him. He desperately caught her hand, resisting her. And in the ensuing struggle, they fell, stabbing Alma. That probably explains why why the wound went when all the way Joseph through her. Joseph removed his attacker's mask. He realized <sighs> it was first thought that both cases had the same murderer, but with so many mysteries solved. I know that can't be. This is the card with proof of the reason why that is. I cannot make any more mistakes. Uh oh. Wow, I'm stupid. So, my time has come. How pathetic that I would end up welcoming the end. <laughs> but I'm so tired. Please, let me rest for a while. Well, I need to stop recording these at, like... 11.30 at night. Now, if you actually fail in forensics, you'll go back to the place that you left, uh, the place that you last saved at with full life. So that's why I have so many hearts up here. Yes. After Alma's death, 
Someone erased evidence of her. Guilt. I can't believe I forgot about this. No matter how it was done, it couldn't have been Alma. And so the truth of this card is brought to light. This person wanted to hide Alma's crimes. First, her costume was destroyed in the fireplace. The weapon she used was hidden within a clock in the house. Another knife was used to make Alma seem like a victim. This card shows who took this effort to exonerate Alma. Joseph knew Alma was not a woman who could commit murder. Her bizarre acts were a result of her brain tumor. Even then, she still loved her husband and cared about him. Her final words are proof of that. This is the truth behind how her life's light was put out. Well, this was a really rough and bizarre case. Hey guys, at least you got to see the game over screen, right? Naomi, you have a call from Mr. Parker. Yes. I was just thinking about visiting you. All right. I'll be there soon. Will you be all right? If you think there's any danger. Chief, what do you think love is? That's a random a true question. Love in which each thought of the other to the end. That may well have been the integral part of this case. Guarantee it's any good. <laughs> Alma always made coffee. Thank you. My wife. She was the best companion a man could hope for. Even when I was stubborn or angry, she still loved me. Mr. Parker, it's my duty to uncover the truth. I understand. You loved her. Even if you'll be misunderstood and branded a killer, you wanted to hide the fact that Alma tried to kill you. I... I'd be better off if she had killed me. There's absolutely no way she'd kill me without a cause. She... She must have had some reason for what she did. Uh, mentally Please, ill is a reason. If it ends like this, Alma will be known as a lunatic. You have to find out what truly happened to my wife. Please! Yes, I will. That's my duty. Why do I get the feeling that finding out what happened to her is going to be another case? I'm a little jealous. There you are, Dr. Kimishima. I was looking for you. I see. What do you want? Uh, I, uh, have the report from the Oxford autopsy. Tell me all about it, right now. Ah, uh, right. Um, her brain tumor was kind of... Well, strange. Strange? Could you be any more vague? 
Were you actually present at the autopsy? Well, yes, but it, it was a condition I've never seen. The tissue around the tumor was black. Nobody knows why. Black? The same as with Veronica. Remove that tumor. I'll have a friend at Resurgum check it. And I want the death certificate made by the end of the day. <laughs> you want me to do all that? That's kind of demanding. No excuses. Get to it right now. <laughs> uh, I'm on it. Have fun, little guy. Veronica's death. An old woman losing her mind. What in the world is going on? Well, you know, you can tell we're not going to have another case with Naomi for a long time. Uh, these are pretty spread out, and I like it because these take a while. Next time, we're actually going to go back to Maria's storyline for another first response mission. Next time on Let's Play Trauma Team. See you later.